AEW's Tony Khan, I should have, said that the big announcement he has been teasing as of late could be revealed as soon as next Wednesday. Appearing on Busted Open Radio on Friday, Khan said he believes he'll be in a position to announce the news next Wednesday on Dynamite. He also noted the announcement is not just about one particular piece of talent, but rather something that will impact the entire industry. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to tell everyone you definitely will not want to miss Wednesday Night Dynamite next week, he said. <laughs> I have a huge announcement coming, and nobody knows what it is. It is going to be something very important in the wrestling business. It's not just one particular piece of talent. It is something very special. I'm really excited about it. I believe it is something we will be in a position to announce on Wednesday. Last uh, Wednesday before Dynamite, speaking to Tony Schiavone, Khan said he was working on, quote, something massive that was of similar importance to the first dance when CM Punk returned to wrestling after a seven-year absence. I promise you something big is coming. It's not like the first dance where I could put a date, time, and place on it and say, no, I know exactly when. But it is like the first dance that I know something big and important is coming to AEW. Coming to AEW. Hmm. And I am very excited about it. What could this be? And is it true nobody knows except Tony Khan? Hmm. Interesting. Well, it's impossible for no one to know besides Tony Khan, because then, then who would he be negotiating with? Somebody else has got to know, right? Or are, is everybody negotiating with Tony Khan blind? Do they not know that they are going to be the big surprise that he is talking about? I don't know. But, you know, it's funny because uh, Tony Khan is advertising a big announcement here. And uh, a few weeks ago, there was the announcement that a uh, new talent was going to debut on Dynamite in a face of the Revolution ladder match qualifier. And uh, it was Keith Lee. And uh, if you guys recall correctly, uh, that show did a good number. And, uh, you know, it was pointed out that if you, if you announce something big, the show's going to do a big number. And then last week, uh, we had a uh, pretty big show and uh, didn't do all that well. Did 850000 or something like that, if I recall correctly. And uh, you know what happens when AEW has a low week? What's that? Everyone says the sky is falling. Uh. And they talk about everything that was wrong with the show and all of the matches that people didn't want to see and all this and that. And uh, in, invariably, the next week, everything's back to normal because that's what happens with these AEW ratings, I've noticed. And uh, you'll never believe what happened this week. Wednesday's episode of Dynamite, 1.010 million viewers, up 16.2% from last week. Tied Dynamite's debut as the show's fourth highest viewership in 2022. 18 to 49, a 0. .40, up 29% from last week. Ratings up across all demos. Biggest increase in 12 to 34. Males up 58.8%. Females up 56.6%. Compared to last year, it was up 21.5% in total viewers and 14.3% in the key demo. What was it, everybody? Uh, the Jericho segment, the demo god, was it uh, this battle royal? Was it the lead in? <laughs> anyway, the point of this is listen, I'm all about studying the ratings, okay? I've been doing it for like 25 years now, and uh, they are, are obsessive about studying the ratings as well. But uh, sometimes things are just going to go up and sometimes they're going to go down. And it's not like the end of the world and it's not like the greatest thing that ever happened either. It's just there are going to be patterns. There's going to be other stuff on television. Sometimes people are going to watch what else is on television. Most of those people are probably going to DVR the show. I mean, I, I, uh, I think, and this is actually less so with, uh, with other programs because... Uh, you know, Raw and SmackDown are are uh, are pretty stable, but uh, you know, there's there's less stability I've noticed with Dynamite. Like some weeks it's going to do 1.1 million viewers, some weeks it's going to do 850 thousand viewers, and like nobody is being driven off on those low weeks. It's just I don't know what it is. Something happened, whether it's the NBA or everybody wanted to watch South Park or we go to war, or whatever. And quite frankly, we went to war this week and they still did 1.01 million. So. 
I think that uh, we should study them. We should look at them. We should try to look for patterns. But the point is, don't freak out over a week. This this happens with... Actually, the pattern is now that every few weeks there's going to be a low number and then it's going to go back to normal afterwards. That's the pattern now. I don't know why. But anyway, that's my that's my take on these numbers. For most people who it's not their business, like, you know, Brandon Thurston and Dave Meltzer and people like that, I mean... Yeah, Dave incorporates it into his talking about the news because that's what he's been doing for years. And obviously, he reports the news. He he discusses that. So I get why it's a big deal. A lot of fans, though, I mean, it's turned into the NBA dunk contest. Like years ago, when this was new and WCW and WWF were battling head to head, it was, you know, it was awesome in a lot of ways. It was new. It was fresh. They were going head to head. There were these, you know, it was the, the biggest amount of people watching wrestling at one time that we had had in, you know, since the 80s. I mean, it was insane. It was more popular than ever mainstream. Things had dripped into the mainstream, whereas now... Like you watch the NBA dunk competition, this last one passed. It was like it sucked. You couldn't wait to get it over fast enough. And it's like for most of the time talking about ratings, that's what it's like. I mean, yeah, there's a reason that it exists, but it, people aren't really comparing them to how they should. AEW is competing with itself. WWE is competing with itself to banter these numbers back and forth and to try to dunk on each other. It's like they're all usually bricks every single time, you know, no matter how dazzling your tweet is going to be with the blindfold on in the 360, you've still missed because it, it really doesn't matter. It's is AEW making Turner happy right now? Yes, they've been very happy with them. Same thing goes with WWE and USA at the end of the day when we talk about this stuff. It's a wash. USA desperately needs WWE. How we should be talking about ratings in the grand scheme of things is not is boring, frankly, because it's talking about how they will maybe impact things later on. And you start to break down those numbers. It becomes a little less fun. And that's why Brandon Thurston's a guy who loves that stuff. So that's why he covers them. But it's a tired discussion a lot of the time, unfortunately. And it fills well. time. People like to banter it back and forth, but I don't think people debate it and use it correctly. You know what I'm saying? Like, they just want well, to use it to dunk on the other dude. And it's like, it, you can do it, but it sucks. We we got a new guy here who, uh, he's new, so I'm not going to yell at him. But he wanted to know if I if I ever talked about ratings before NXT and NAEW went head-to-head. So yes, brother. Time. Since 1995. Oh. Okay. So he lost a hair match, came back with hair, we never saw him bald, and then decides to just shave his head. Do I have all this exactly right? Yeah, now he wants to have his head shaved. Oh, pardon me. Yeah. <laughs> Vinny, Vinny. Yeah. Vinny, stop that! No! <laughs> God. Bro. I'm trying to kill the brain cells necessary <laughs> to tolerate the show. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.